Hello, and welcome to episode 4 of the Smash Ultimate Mod Workshop. Today I'll be going over the resources that I use to get help while modding the game. I personally think that this is one of the most helpful tutorials in the whole series, so listen close. 1. Where do I find scripts? Well, this right here is Warboy Script Dump, where most of the Smash Ultimate scripts are. Go to the Smash Line section, and I'd recommend bookmarking this page. Do not use the ACMD section, as ACMD isn't supported anymore. So if you use scripts from there, they will not work. Also, if you're using the Smash Ultimate data viewer, it also contains outdated scripts. So do not use this either. So let's say I want Daisy's F tilt. I go into the Smash Line section, scroll down to Daisy. This is a list of articles, which are like the objects. Daisy is just the main one, that's the fighter. Daisy Kinopio Spore is the spores that Toad shoots after he gets hit. So I don't think I want the scripts from that. I'll just go to Daisy. Effect controls the effects. Expression controls expressions. Sound controls the sounds. And then game is the hitboxes. So if I want F tilt, I'll go into game. And then scroll down to attack S3, which is F tilt. And here's the scripts for them. Now, let's say I wanted to edit this. I can either copy all of it like that, or just click this little button right here that says copy roll file, and then I can paste it into my IDE. 2. CPP and Lua Comst. These two files are perhaps the most underrated resource for Smash modding. To find them, go to C, Users, My Name, Cargo, Git, Checkouts, Skyline Smash, we're looking for the one that says 6C, and SRC. Now there's two files here, CPP and Lua Const. I have both of them open in here. CPP is a list of every function you can use and which parameters are needed. So if I were to use get ink work ID, which is something for inkling, I know that I need to specify the fighter, and then some number, and then it returns an integer. It's super helpful and super underrated. Lua Const, on the other hand, is a list of every single constant that the game uses. It's super helpful when you need to know exactly what you can put in a function. Like right here, all the way down to here, is a bunch of stuff related to Sephiroth, we have some flags, we have some statuses. There's just a lot of useful stuff to reference here. Next, we have the Smash Ultimate Modding Discord. Join it! It's item 3 in the description. If you need help with something, anything, you can ask in preferably fighter code edits, also maybe mod help, quick questions. But before you ask your question, use the search tool to search for your question. Or you can just type in the name of a function, and some of our examples of its usage will pop up. Like, let's say I need to know what the arguments to the effect follow command are. I can type in effect follow and arg, and it'll pop this message up for me. Uh, Vishera is talking about the arguments to effect and effect follow, and there they are. Pretty helpful. I could just search for my question instead of just asking it. Next up, Ultimate frame data. Sometimes when I need to know when a hitbox comes out or how long a move lasts, I'll use ultimate frame data. It's a great site and there's not really too much more to comment on it. Let's say I want to know how many frames Captain Falcon's dare is. Uh, click on Captain Falcon, aerial attacks, and down air. Uh, hitbox comes out on frame 16. It lasts 44 frames. And there it is. Number five, SSB wiki. So imagine ultimate frame data, but it shows damage percentages, it explains damage mechanics, has move lists, pretty much any information on the game you may need. I've logged thousands of hours into this game and wrote tons of mods, but yet I keep going back to SSB Wiki for information whenever I need it. You should definitely bookmark this site. Number six, Smash Ultimate Tools. While this is a little outside of what you may need to do code edits, Cool Sonic Kirby's Smash Ultimate Tools lets you easily edit most notably the 
character select screen, stage select, and even some fighter parameters. Number 7. The hash list. I showed this off a little in episode 3, but this is just a file uploaded from GitHub of every single hash value in Smash Ultimate. Or at least most of them. You'll find a lot of uses for it as you keep modding, but for now some of the highlights are a list of effects that hitboxes can have, a list of all the global visual effects, and a list of every special move. Number 8, Rustox. This site is essentially the CPP file in a more condensed form. It shows every function you can use, the path to them, and even some examples. Here, if I want get stick x, you can see it pops up here. You click on it, it shows you how to call it, what it returns, and even an example of it being used. You can also click back on control module to see all of the functions in control module, and you can keep going out to see all of the modules. You can also see a list of a fighter's status scripts, which I touch on more in episodes 29 and 30. Number 9. The AnimCMD spreadsheet. In some instances, you'll need the name of a move's animation, and in other times, you'll need its name in AnimCMD. This spreadsheet has a list of every single one of them in both, so while it's pretty self-explanatory, you can use this when you're just starting to get the hang of it. Like, game special air high on 2 is special underscore air underscore high 1 underscore 2. It's really helpful when you forget what's supposed to have an underscore, what isn't. And the last one for this video, just straight up GitHub. Let's say I haven't had enough examples of article module generate article. I can go to GitHub and just type in the search bar article module colon colon generate article. I can go to the code section. And wow, there's examples from HDR, there's an example from the script dump, there's an example from this dude's mod pack. But note that if you look up something super generic like on flag, you'll probably get a lot of examples that aren't actually related to Smash, so use this carefully. As usual, all of these sites will be available in the description, and I hope this helped. Happy modding!